Hey guys, uh, I'm still working on that uh, working on that old rifle. I'm gonna let you take a look at it in a, in a second. But I'm just doing the finals. I free floated the barrel. It's fully free floating, and now I'm just setting the torque on it. I like to uh, I like to set my torque on on wood stocks about 45 to 50 foot pounds. But uh, anyway. This is it. Remember it was that old beat up stock. I was able to find a, a stock for it and I was almost going to cut it then I changed my mind and I did some research and they do make a Picatinny style mount for that so I think I'm going to go ahead and change this out from the bases because it's a little long for me right here without the butt plate it's actually perfect. And I topped it with the Burris Full Field 2, the 4x5x14x42. It's a great little hunting scope. It's not real expensive. It's clear. The magnification's good. And uh, it has a ballistic flex on it. So I really, I really like that. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do for this. But, oh, how do you like my cheaters? They're my wife's. Anyway, because I always lose mine. But anyway, what we're going to do, what we have for you next is we have a bighorn sheep hunt coming up and we have a lot of film on it and and so we're not sure we weren't sure what to do with you guys uh but we want you guys to come and join us on this hunt it's not that often that you get a you know experience a bighorn sheep hunt like we do i mean it's uh i mean i've only been on a couple you know so i mean it's very special so what we did was we broke it into two segments the first segment is going to be uh the scouting where you went up i believe it was June, I mean June 24th or something like that where we went up and got to uh, to scout for the first time You know because up in that high country. There's still a lot of snow and snow drifts up there Actually, there's parts of that mountain that hold the snow all year round. So anyway, we we went ahead and uh, we're, do, we're doing that and then um, what we're gonna do is part two is gonna be where uh, uh, It's actually the hunt so part one is gonna take you right up to the night before the hunt and all the pre-scouting and the finding of the of the ram we want to shoot and all that stuff. So, you know, bear with us. It's a little long, but, you know, it's an experience. The country is beautiful, and we want to take you and invite you with us to come and join us again. It's a special time, so I hope you enjoy it. It's going to be, it's going to be fun anyway. It's exciting. So, anyway, see you out there. Here we are, me and Silver. We're... Heading up to sheep country as you guys are all roasting in the city. We're sitting over here in the snow. Uh, Silver was one of the lucky guys and was able to draw a bighorn sheep tag. So we're going up uh, up into the Hikaria to go see what we see. So we're going to walk up. Um, yeah, we got a good hike. We've already been at it for an hour or so. But uh, we're getting ready to hit the... Another push before we get up to the, the timber anyway. Uh, we'll stay in touch with you guys all back in the hot city. Got some elk over here. There's a group of about four ewes and all their lambs go wild. That's cool. And then we got a bunch See this all the way across. Snow, the top snow? Yeah. Right here, that makes the hook. Uh -huh. Right above it, just to the left, there's a group of. back up over here we came over another basin hiked back up and we found a bunch of sheep back in here 
they're on this other other hillside. Another so we just kind of glassed them there about anywhere from five to a thousand yards. So we're just kind of checking them out, see what see what we see, and we, there was a ram up on the top on this, there's and there's actually more now. coming up over the top of that. Yeah. Well, what do you think, Silver? Well, seen two really, really promising rams. Kind of hard to make a decision on both between them. This one ram that we've seen over here is definitely the, the boss in this basin right here. Um, seen three other rams, another young ram coming up. Uh, next year, year after, he's going to be badass. But uh, it's a good day. Let's just hope they're here when we come back. Yeah. They'll be around somewhere. We'll find them. Yeah. If not, you never know. There could be, there could be a better yeah. one. Yeah. But he looks like he's uh, the monarch. The monarch. Yeah. He's uh, the body on him. He's just a really great mature uh, ram. There's two of them. The other one is definitely going to be a hard one to not to pass up, but at least we have a couple of choices. Hopefully they're here and they don't get too much pressure on that. Other, uh... Man, this is God's country here. There is, you can't see them from here, but down in the valley below us, there's probably a hundred plus head of, of cows and calves just all over across the valley over here. Bunch of you scattered out, but the rams are over here. There's, there's what you, well, those, those little rams, but there's five, five nice rams five up nice here. Rams, yeah. Two of them are definitely shooters. Well, we have one heck of a walk out too, so <laughs> we'll be walking for a few hours anyway. Uh, over and out. Well, we just got up here uh, and setting up base camp. <clears throat> Getting ready, ready for Silver's uh, bighorn sheep. He was lucky enough to draw that after probably 30 years of, of applying. But anyway, uh, uh, luck was with him this year. We've come up a few times and seen some rams. Uh, we hope they're where we last saw them. There is a hunt going on right now. Our hunt starts on Monday, so we're here a couple days early. We're going to take a look and uh, see what we see. Uh, hopefully we can spot one of the big rams. We saw probably three of them that were shooters. Uh, we think they got one of the ones that we were after, but there's another really nice one. So we're going to see uh, what happens and uh, hopefully get silver one of those big ones. This is going to be home sweet home for the next few days. And then we're going to end up going up to the high country. We're going to pack in and we're going to uh, stay back up there and um, uh, cold camp. Hopefully we can sleep, uh, find one and uh, sleep right there with them and uh, get them on Monday morning. But we'll see how that goes. Uh, things change out here. This is a beautiful place out here. The road's pretty fierce. As, as you can see, there's there's no roads, but uh, uh, no main roads anyway. It was Jeep trail all the way up. So what do you think, Mr. Silver? Uh, a little excited. Just a little? Just a little. 30 years coming, once in a lifetime, bighorn sheep. So let's see what happens. Yeah. We've been seeing some good ones. Uh, they've taken couple of nice ones hopefully there's some left for us oh yeah there's there's plenty up in this country what do you think about home sweet home uh, it'll do it'll do it's nice when uh, when the guides get to hunt you know so uh, we're gonna be out there 
though uh, it's going to be a little rough one because we're going to be up about 12 about 12 5 yeah somewhere in there so to start the season off uh it's going to be a dandy <laughs> <laughs> be in shape definitely after this <laughs> yeah <laughs> There's my tent right there. Three, four years ago, um, up in here elk hunting, and slipped off right here early in the morning, listening off in there, and that timber over there, see if I could locate a bull, about 15 yards from here, had two rams, one of them, he was probably high 180s, and another ram stepped out, we're coming down the trail here, they stepped out and they were looking off down in the the hole also so I started to remove my pack to get my camera they never did look straight at me I guess they sensed the movement saw the movement by the time I got my camera out they had turned and left and I'm back up the trail now I never caught up to them never seen them again but that was after the second hunt and uh, they were way down in here in the timber well, if you guys look up over here, I'm going to show you that peak over there. Still has some snow on that. That's uh, one of the areas that we're going to, the first basin that we're going to hit in our hike. So we still have uh, a good ways to go.
Well, we're still climbing. Sun's getting high up in the sky. We're probably a mile or so, but we've been at it for a while now. <laughs> it doesn't look too steep, but if you look back behind, it's pretty, it's pretty darn steep. We're going up, uh, well, there's a sky up over there. <laughs> I think it comes, in, comes out kind of like a 3,000 foot elevation climb and right around a 1.2 miles or something like that. Of oh, climb? Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's 1.2 miles and you ascend 3,000 feet. Yeah. It's kind of steep. Yeah, that's kind of steep up to this part. But we still got to go. We glassed a couple places. But uh, we didn't see any sheep yet, so let's see what happens when we get to where we want to go. A little housekeeping. Housekeeping. How do you like, uh, you guys like our new home for the next couple of days? <laughs> How's the mattress? Check this out. Look at that, look at that. Oh, yeah. Not bad. Not bad. A little high spot here. Just view from up here. We were just, uh, we could hear the elks down there. There's a water hole. We don't know who built this, but someone spent some time up here. They made them a little deck. Where's that uh, bag there? You want to put this stuff in? Here That's it. No, I didn't. I didn't bring that other bag. Well, we made it up. Uh, just take a look at this country over here. Our basin over there is where we were seeing a lot of the sheep last last time we were up here. But the one that we think they shot was one that was hanging out on this other side. God's country. A lot of people never experience even being up in stuff like this. It's uh, it's rough to get up here. But this is what we love to do, and this is why we do it. Here comes my partner, he was glassing the other side. He's the lucky one that drew the tag. How you doing, partner? Excuse me, sir. How you doing? <laughs> Where did you see that 
big one last time. One that we think they killed. Well, let's take a look. We'll glass a little bit, see what we see. Yeah. Okay, it looks like we might get some rain, so let's try and get on this as soon as we can. I just picked up our uh, first sheep. There's a, quite a bit of them down there. There's, it looks like there's nothing but females. The basin last uh, couple times ago that we came is a pretty good sized basin. Uh, we, we saw quite a few rams and a couple of the big ones in here. You can see it's a monster of a mountain. I'm going to put my eyes out there, see if I can come across anything else. And they keep track of these ones. Sometimes they move up, they'll move towards where the rams are. Those ewes are coming to our side. They're all, uh, looks like there's six or seven uh, ewes and lambs. They're on a mission. I'm surprised they're moving. I can't find any of the rams, but this is big country. They can be anywhere. They can be laying there without the sun hitting them. It's pretty hard to, to actually see them. I'm just going to keep blasting and see what, what's up. I got my first ram. See if I can pick him up. He's a good ways away. He's just feeding there. Can't tell how good he is yet. He's by himself, so that's that's kind of a good sign that I can see anyway. This is about 900 yards. Can't tell by the way he's standing what he, how good he is. And I can see if I find any other ones around him. Bad from behind.
Not a bad looking ram. He's about three quarter curl on one side. Can't tell what the other side is. But for a ram his age, I'm very surprised that he's out there by himself. Keep glassing, see what I find. We got three hunters up on that other side. Where, uh, where I've been glassing uh, the ram, he's still there. I'm surprised that they're still hunting. There's a lack of sheep in this basin. We were hoping we were going to have this to ourselves. There's a second ram. There might even be more, they're starting to move now. They both look like they're young. Hmm. Well, I'm going to keep looking, see what else I find. See him right down there? They're separated down there. Look at, find the... Oh, okay, I see them now. Do you see them? Gotcha. How do they look? Sound pretty good. 
<laughs> that storm looks pretty fierce. Yeah. We're rolling across to the north so we might get some stuff. Yeah, it's coming towards us. Um, one on the left on the other boy. Mature ass. Well, that one, that one that we were looking at that day, I mean, was was huge as far as um, what oh. horn wise. Mm, pretty good. I, I can uh, I can see him, but not um, you know I can see him. No, but that's a long ways. This one is this one the left handed sided one or oh there there's the other one. Yeah, it's up on the top right, right of the scope and the other one's down. Yeah, the left hand side is that storm. What do you think of that one, Silver? Uh, he looks like that big ram that we have pictures of. Yeah. He looks like that 190 who disappeared. Nobody's seen him for a while. And I think you're right. I think he was... It looks like he came out of these came, trees, came, out of this far stuff here. Yeah, he coming out of there and came back up in there now. And that's probably why nobody's seen him. Yeah, he's he's disappeared. He's probably just working his way back out. This might have been a little quiet. Yeah. And these other guys that we saw stayed over to this other side. Yeah. Let me look at this guy. He's a God, good one. Just look at the body on him. He's and the mass is what he has on him. Yeah. That's good. But he's he's not tight. He comes around nice and big. Yes. He looks like that one in yeah, that picture. Yeah, he does look like the one in that picture. Yeah. Uh and what's nice about it is, see where the trail goes up, he's off all quite a ways from the edge of that trail. Because the trail cuts up and it goes over it, the it, saddle, right? Yes, it goes over that saddle and then goes around this way, around the basin. Uh -huh. And there's this basin and then there's the other bit, that other basin right there where he's right above. He could have come out of that basin there also. Yeah, he, he could have. Uh... When I saw him, he was faced. He was faced like coming this way up, but he could have, he could have turned and he could have done whatever. Yes. We don't. We 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 need to keep track of him. Oh yeah. Definitely. Those other two rams are good, but I mean they're nothing like this one. Oh, this guy here, he's a beautiful ram. So I I guess probably maybe what we should do is if if we were going to do the thing, you guys go up through the back or whatever. Maybe I could come over here and, and try and see if he's there. If not, climb up to the top 
and get up on the top where I can see to all sides and see if we can't at least see which way he goes. Yeah. And then we'll know which way, you know, uh, you know, they don't pay rent, but I mean, who knows? Exactly. Hopefully it's not one of those ones that now you see them, now we never do again. But I, I think, I think, you know, we're up on this side of the, of the divide. I don't think he's going to. I don't think he'll go back over unless, um, unless, I mean, he could be working his way back over to the north. Remember, I told you I'd seen them, yeah. them rams back over on this side. It's hard to say. But, uh, yeah, that was some good uh, good spotting on your part there. You looked over there, and I had been sitting here glassing forever looking at this other stuff. And uh, be able to pick him out. Let me take a look. He's just right above that timber in that one little little thing in there. But yeah, we need to try and keep an eye on him for sure. Yeah, he's he's good. He's, he's a beautiful, beautiful animal. Yeah, he's uh, he has mass all the way. He carries his mass really good. Yeah, he's he's about what a mile from here. Uh, I'd say he's probably at least a mile. Yes. About, a, about at least a mile, yeah, and he's, to, he's, yeah. he's probably... As a crow flies a mile, maybe. Yeah, but exactly. It's, it's to get there. And he's probably a quarter mile anyway from the trail. Off to the... to the. And these guys, these situation. guys that were here, they dumped the other way. Yeah, they bailed off that other side, so that's, that's okay. They have today and tomorrow. And so then, they're today... Uh, Chance is gone because they're they're going the other way with these other two rams in here. Yeah. Yes, I'm surprised they didn't see him. They were just right in the spot. And that's where they couldn't see him. Well, I just think because the way the mountain rolls like this. Yeah. Look at how this one rolls. We can't see the bottom. Exactly. We can't see the bottom, but the only thing is, what what has me happy is he he came up and he bedded down this is prime time he's not moving yes so he's, he's if he planning. was going somewhere then then we i would probably think we might not see him but he's he's just hanging out there so it doesn't look like he's in a hurry to get anywhere i think he's probably going to come up there and probably spend the night right in there you yeah I, I, mean? I would say probably that too. feed a little bit or whatever he's going to do in there and and uh that's man good. i wish tomorrow was the hunt <laughs> yeah, really. Well, well, if he was meant to be ours, he's going to be ours. But at least we, we're we're getting to see him. Let me walk this way a little bit, and I want to check something real quick. He's really in a good spot. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's really in a good spot. I mean, depending what the wind's doing, right now it's coming this way. If today was a hunt and we were hunting, and we came around, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And we seen him and we went around here. Well, he might see us walking across here, but he'd be kind of watching on this way. And we went past him, come in right on him, on, right through those trees, crawl out to the edge of that uh, that rock yeah. where that bench is right there, and catch him right there, dude. Because the Perfect. last the last couple of times we came, it's been coming out of the out of uh, the this, out of the southwest. Yeah. So I think you know we're we're probably pretty good on that. Oh yeah, he's a, that one there. I just I wish you know because of the hillside. He has good length on his horns. He looked like this one in the picture, huh? Mm-hmm. And I like he's solo. Yep. He's by himself. 
He's real blocky. I mean, just look at the body of him. Oh, yeah, he has a cuerpo like. He's turning now, let's see. He's definitely better than any of those oh, yeah. two over there. He looks like he's a little broom, but I mean, he has good mass. Watch, he's kind of looking down. No, I'm good, thanks. Yeah, he's stashed. He's, he's not a... Uh, He's no dummy, he knows where he needs to be. Yeah. Yep. Let me kind of get, take a look with the, with the camera. I know there's no way we can see him from this far. But to give an idea of where he's at. So basically, he's right off that back edge. Those bushes are up there. He's back up on that little flat you see the saddle come down he's laying down there but if you look he's very at the very most north of, of this area so we would have to come in around all the way around that basin over there come all the way around that basin up along that edge and drop down into him yeah that right there where he's at he's at the very top very top of that basin like in this basin right here uh-huh yeah he's right at the very top of that basin well that's good. Think you'll shoot him? I don't know, man. <laughs> Maybe we look a little harder. <laughs> Heck, definitely, I'd try and take a crack at him. And he's in a good place for us to get him, too. Yeah, yeah. That's where we were earlier on the far side, back in there. Well. Hopefully we can stay on him and find him tomorrow. And then he, we need him to stay one more day. I think he's been staying in that basin over there. Yeah, I do too. Like you say, he's been hang, going down, hanging in those trees and coming out. Yeah. You know? And, yeah, uh, that's what it looks like to me. Like you. Nobody, then, when they first seen him, the pictures was oh, probably over a month ago. Yeah. And then he disappeared. And nobody has uh, had seen him since. If that's that ram, but he sure looks like him. Yeah, he sure looks like him. So, not he's a, he's a nice ram. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If he's coming out and hanging out in this timber and then going back up, that's probably what he's where he's, he's been yeah. Because this basin right here, you go in this point right here. If you look at it from the top, it almost looks like a heart. Almost looks like a big ram. <laughs> If you look at it from the top on the map, on the topo. Because this ridge, this big bowl right here, that you see this rock out come, it goes down like this, and then there's a basin right behind that one. Kind of like this one, and that's probably where he's, he's been at. Yeah, he has to be coming up that far hill. And that's still plenty of stuff that they like, yet he has the cover and the protection. He got up and moved. He's walking over the top, dude. A 
many days already. Yeah. Yeah, no, I bet you they're already making their, their run back to wherever they came from. If they're on the far trail over there, they have a, they'll be hunting back this way. And hopefully he just stays right in, right there somewhere. Yeah. I just hope we can find him again. Yeah. Well, we got a good walk back to camp. Let's head out and and see what we do. See what happens. we can get to these guys.
nice being able to get this close to them. Think, Mr. Silver. two yards. <laughs> well, we're going to leave these guys alone and we're going to head back down to camp. Well, you can see it's a nice morning, especially for backpacking in. We're getting our final camp set up to take up. We're leaving base base camp, and we're going to head up into our spike camp. We got Gilbert now. He's joining us. Gilbert's our muscle. He's a uh, he's a uh, hiking fool. He does a lot of the the 14ers up in Colorado and bikes, and he's a pretty fit guy. So. We're looking forward to have him help us pack out a sheep. But we're doing our last little uh, little uh, preparation to go. We have a long hike. So anyway, we'll see you guys on the trail. Oh, finding a little bit of level ground. That first quarter miles. Yeah. It's rough, huh? Oh, I'm gonna straight out of it. You got a mate now. Anyway, so that one ram we were looking at. Last week, I was in that group of four right up in there. He looked pretty good. Didn't see him yesterday, but uh, that doesn't mean he's not in the area anymore. We saw three other really good sheep, but well, we're here. We'll glass that anyway. Yeah. 
Just make sure. It's amazing how that snow's still hanging on, huh? That okay. snow's still hanging on, and we're, what, the 20th of August? Yep. There'll be snow on top of that snow. Yeah. Before long. Beautiful, calm morning again. Beautiful country. Hopefully it's not the calm before the storm. It's supposed to rain tomorrow or tonight for a couple of days. So this might be the calm before the storm. There you go. <laughs> yeah, one way to look at it is that we're going to have to take a bath. And wash some of the smell off. I smell pretty good right now. You gotta heat the dang thing. What do you think, Silver? We, we got compo together. Damn it. Pretty close. You know what? It looks like such a nice, comfortable camp here. How do you think? I might just stay in camp here where you guys go look for some sheep this afternoon. <laughs> Take a nap. You might not want to leave. Yeah, there's those water bottles around the back, remember? Here's a little shot of. The inside of Home Sweet Home. Can you reach right there, Tuck, and give me a... I wish I knew a little bit more about the history of this place and how old it is, but we don't know if trappers used it, loggers used it. I don't think it was loggers. Could have been sheep herders. Like Could have been the day. sheep herders in the, in the day, but we're using it. So make this hunt a little bit more back into history guys are gonna make a little snack before we get off and go look for some sheep see what we can yeah, find uh, see if we find the big one from yesterday and sit him out and see what we do we'll see you guys out in the field all right this is something I want to show you all from camp look at the view they had out their back door front door whatever door you want to call it They have the lake down there. We came from the trailhead way in between that saddle and to the back side of that. We're about a couple hundred yards from, if that, where we saw the two uh, little rams yesterday. Getting our packs loaded up with snacks. What did I do with those bags I had of uh, candy? We finally found the rams. There's six or seven of them out there. Uh, two really good ones. One's really, really good. I think they're going to move towards us. Uh, we're going to keep an eye on them and see what happens. Keep you guys in touch. Well, pretty excited we finally found uh, some good rams and uh, one of them one of them's really good he's a giant and uh, uh, we're excited about that he's um, last time I ranged him about 800 yards he's staying back of the other ones
There's nine rams out there. We don't know where they came from. We've been glassing this for two, two and a half hours or so. And uh, we think there's a clump of trees that they popped out of. We've seen quite a few um, hunters uh, up on the top glassing, but it just didn't seem like anyone uh, saw them. So uh, we're just gonna watch them until dark and see where they're at and try and do a move on them. Silver's uh, back over on this other side and he's uh, he's uh, saw a pretty good one, I guess. Um, so we're just gonna have to determine what we're gonna try and get. What do you think of that ram? Hopefully they stay here and we can get him tomorrow. He's a good one. We found a big ram. We just want to get a look at him. Almost looks like that same ram. That's a pretty ram, dude. Where is he? Did he walk away? <laughs> there goes. 
was a ram right there. It's not pushing, bro. Hey. I'm not gonna believe this. We're sitting here in camp, talking and eating, and this ram comes through camp, literally within 15 yards from where we were standing, and walk back out there. He's heading right towards where, uh, we're gonna be hunting tomorrow. There's nothing wrong with him either. I don't know where he came from. But anyway, that was cool. <clears throat> this is crazy. We're sitting here in no, camp. just spotted another one right there. You're burning your pot to see all your water is evaporated. There's another one. Here comes the other one down. We got two more rams here, younger ones. And here's camp, right there. And they're coming right to camp. It's pretty crazy. I guess this is really sheep camp. The other one was a shooter too, so hopefully they're all together tomorrow.
There's another rim that showed up. It's right here by camp. He's here, and the guys are right there. He needs a few more years. Well, tomorrow's going to be an exciting day. We have two good rams in the basin that we're going to hunt. <coughs> This is part of the group. Should be a good day. Tomorrow well, should be a golden day. Okay, well I hope you guys enjoyed part part one. Uh, part two is going to be the harvest time of this, where we do a stock on the sheep and we shoot them, we butcher them, and pack out. We have to pack our whole camp out. So you know this is this is something that we actually could have done with horses, but we decided that you know. All us old guys wanted to get up there and just get put on our packs and get up and go and be able to share this with our, you know, daughters and granddaughters and grandkids coming up. And uh, we just want them to see how dedicated we were into the hunting and what hunting really meant with us, uh, meant to us and spending the time up in the mountains with good friends. And anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this part. It's nice. Silver takes a really nice uh, ram one shot kill. Silver is an excellent shot. So anyway. I hope you guys enjoy that and uh, and we'll keep you going on other stuff coming up and hopefully we have some more turkey hunts coming up and we have fishing and long range shooting. In fact, this gun hopefully is going to get out there and do a little bit of long range shooting. Anyway, we will get back with you guys on the next adventure. Enjoy this one first though. <laughs>